stuffed peppers. Hola, hoy vamos a hacer el meal prep de parte del meal prep de la semana. Vamos a hacer unos pimientos rellenos. We're gonna make some stuffed peppers today. Eh, los colores que necesiten, pero el ingrediente principal va a ser la carne molida. So for our stuffed peppers, what we're gonna do first is the ground beef, of course. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna sear it. So vamos primero a sellar la carne, ¿ok? En un sartén caliente. No se preocupen de los sazones todavía, esperen un poquito y ya luego se los añaden. Ok, so you don't have to worry about the seasonings right now. First we're going to brown it and then we will add the ingredients, which is going to be onions, peppers, and salt and pepper, nothing else, ok? So no se preocupen, como les dije, por echarle nada en este momento. Cuando ya esté eh, doradita, le echamos sal y pimienta, ok? Y los demás ingredientes que van a ser cebollita y pimienta. Ok, so en lo que la carne se dora, la ven los pimientitos, los vamos a cortar en la, eh, por la mitad y le vamos a quitar las semillitas para tener nuestro vaso, eh, nuestro envase para poder poner eh, la carne molida. So in the meanwhile of the meat is um, browning, we're just going to cut your peppers in half. You're going to deseed them and then we will prepare them um, to put them in the oven, ok? So how we cut them, you're going to cut them in half. And you're going to remove all this, okay? So when your meat is dry like that, that it doesn't have any oil or anything, you're going to add all the ingredients. So cuando la carne ya esté así, que no tenga nada de grasita, van a añadir todos los ingredientes. Cebolla, pimiento, cebollín, lo que usted le quiera añadir. Adicional a eso, le va a añadir sal y pimienta. Todo va a ser a su gusto. Remember, when it is like that, You're just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Everything, it's going to be on your own taste, you know. You season however you like. And we're going to let it um, finish cooking so we can um, fill up the peppers. One detail that I forgot to tell you guys. Do not over season it. Remember, we're going to use a little bit of cheese on it so the cheese can make it a little bit saltier. So do not um, over salt it. Remember, no le pueden echar mucha sal porque el queso ya tiene sal, ¿ok? Okay, vamos a rellenar esto. We're just going to fill it up with a little bit of goat cheese on the bottom, okay? You're going to add the meat and then you're going to spread a little bit of mozzarella cheese on the top. We're going to leave it for 3.50, 10 minutes in the oven. Well, 10 to 20 minutes. So, lo rellenamos, le ponemos queso de cabra en la parte de abajo, ponemos queso mozzarella y lo vamos a dejar en el horno por 350 grados por 20 minutos. Ya les muestro. Listo, este es el resultado final. Miren qué rico se ve, quesito derretido. Se lo pueden acompañar con cualquier cosa, ensalada, arroz, lo que ustedes prefieran. Ya tienen la carne, 